Hello, Life Guardians. This is Gavin Babalel, your Product Solution Director here at Lifeguard Solutions here, bringing you another edition of How Easy Can It Be on the Lifeguard Solution platform. Today, what we're going to be focusing in on is how easy can it be to get an incident in, into the system using nothing but your mobile device. So what we're actually seeing here is my mobile desktop itself. Um, this is an Android device. I typically use this on a daily basis to make phone calls, do everything else that I need to. I can go through and I can access my Salesforce One mobile application and it's gonna open my information up here. And on the left-hand side, I can open up my side menu and this is actually going to bring up an area where I can go through and I can enter into my incident wizard. Now, this incident wizard is a predefined form that the organization can go through and actually configure to ensure that they're going to have the information that they want on the system itself. So I'm just gonna fill in not only what company I'm a part of, but also the specific location. We can have this automatically default if you really, really would like to. Uh, but in this case, I'm gonna select which location I'm in. The incident date is pre-populated at this point. But today, right now, I'm actually gonna go through and enter in the current time as 11 a.m. as to when the actual incident happened. Give a brief description. So I'm gonna say that employee fell and broke their nose. Pretty painful individual fall at this point, but I can scroll down a little bit further. And what were the immediate actions that I took? So I can say, um, assistance was called for. Again, get some medical assistance out there to them, but I can scroll down even further here and I can input some individual direct causes if I would like, but I can start to specify the injury type. Now, what our system is doing here is for each individual event, you could have an injury, you could have multiple injuries, you could have had a vehicle incident or some property damage, an environmental spill, it could have been a security incident or even a near miss. But you have the ability of recording all of these into a singular event if you'd like. And even for things such as injuries, well, maybe there were multiple injuries. So our system is going to ask you, well, how many individual injuries were there? So I can actually go through and put in as many as there were actually in this specific event itself. And that way the system will automatically start to create its form. But in this case, I'll just enter the one. It's gonna take me to now my injury form and I can go through and I can enter in that specific information quickly and easily. So I can go through and I could say, well, in this case, it was Mike and maybe Mike was the individual who fell over and broke their nose, unfortunately. And I can actually start to say, well, what was the actual nature of the industry uh, or sorry, injury itself? Was it a dislocation? Was it a break? Was it a fracture? Was it anything internally here that I actually may want to put on? Uh, maybe there was multiple things that actually happened. In this case, that's what I'll select. So again, there were multiple individual injuries here. Does it uh, require immediate reporting? I could start to specify that information. But again, I can go through and I can start to identify all the individual body parts. Maybe it was their head. If I scroll down a little bit here, maybe it was their nose as well. And I can save that information and I can bring that over into my listing itself. But quickly and easily, I've started to identify all of the associated information with this individual event. But now that I have this information, I can go through and I can actually enter this information directly into the system itself and it's gonna save. And we can take a look at that information in a quick second here. So team, I've actually logged back in at this point and I'm now in a fully, uh, web-based environment on my individual laptop. I could start to see individually here all of my individual metrics, but if I hop over into my events quickly and easily, the first thing that I end up seeing here as soon as it comes up is the event that I actually just ended up reporting. So I can open this information up, and as soon as I do, I could start to see the level of detail and information that I've input here. But more importantly, some additional things start to come up. So I could start to see my exact individual location automatically being built into the system itself. I could start to see things such as my environmental factors. So what does that look like? What was the actual weather at the time of the individual incident itself? Was it essentially a clear day or in maybe in other cases, maybe it was a snowstorm, maybe there was rain, maybe I couldn't see anything because of fog, but these are all individual items that come into play when investigating your specific individual incident itself. So just different levels of functionality, 
wanted to show everyone at this point how quick and easy it is to get an incident into the system itself. Hopefully this has been useful to you. If you have any questions or any concerns, feel free to reach out to either myself or anyone on the sales team. We'd be more than happy to help you out and make a decision moving forward.